Shalom everybody. ICJ Canada brings you greetings from the capital of our nation of Canada, Ottawa. Um, I've had the privilege to take part this past uh, two days in a historic conference uh, combating anti-Semitism that was hosted by CJA, the uh, Center for Israel and Jewish Affairs here. And of course, I was there representing uh, ICJ Canada, but also uh, other Christian Zionist organizations here in this country. Um, I was with uh, the director for Bridges for Peace, dear friend, brother uh, Gary, uh, Serjenko, and, uh, and of course, a couple other Christian Zionist organizations. But um, we were here standing with the Jewish people during this time of great need, uh, this time of great sorrow, this time of great trauma with the uh, breakout of the war that was spurred on by by murderous attacks of Hamas. Uh, friends, I, I just want to encourage you as Christians across this nation uh, to stand with the nation of Israel. There are three things I know that God has been putting on our hearts at this time. Um, as Israel is going through war, you know we have been gathering believers around the world every day, daily, to pray. Uh, so, of course, it may be a given for many Christians, but we need to continue to pray. And not just pray uh, with, uh, with low expectations, but pray and believe and press through until this war is over, until the battle is won, until evil is rooted out from the land of Israel. And I want to encourage you to join in, to join in. There's so many different initiatives going on. Of course, we have our uh, GPG, the Global Prayer Gathering, every morning uh, here in Canada. Uh, so that's 6 a.m. on the West Coast, 9 a.m. here on the East Coast. Uh, and thousands are joining around the world to pray. Uh, then there is the uh, Canada Celebrates Israel Network, the CCI Network Prayer that's happening as well, Mondays to Fridays. Uh, and that is in the afternoon, 11 a.m. Western, 2 p.m. Eastern. And those are leaders of, uh, of churches, of Christian Zionist ministries, of Messianic congregations all across Canada that are joining every day during the week. Then ICJ Canada. Uh, has our Wednesday prayer calls in the afternoon, the Isaiah 62 prayer calls that are still going on. Um, there's just so many opportunities for you to join in. Then we encourage you to encourage your local assemblies, your local uh, prayer groups, your intercessory groups, your pastors. If you are a pastor, join in to pray. Second thing that we encourage you to do is to stand. Standing is so key in this time with Israel. What does that mean to stand? Well, if there are local rallies in your area, to join the Jewish people, to speak out online where, where, where so much hatred and, and lies are being fomented in regards to Israel. Anti-Semitism is festering online. Uh, friends, don't be afraid. Make your voice heard. Even if you're sharing with just 10 people, if you just have 10 followers on Instagram or on Facebook, you're still making a difference to sh share truth and you can get uh, information from ICEJ Canada uh, ICJ International uh, on regards to what's happening there. We can plug you in with, with uh, accredited news sources in the land of Israel that aren't going to be biased uh, in one way or another. Then, to comfort, the whole call of the ICJ comes out of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1, which is comfort, comfort my people. And, and then the following of that verse says to tell them that their war is over. Lord, Friends, there couldn't be a time more key uh, to be comforting the people of Israel. And you could do so in so many ways. But with the ICJ, we have an opportunity with people on the ground, over over 50 volunteers and staff in the land of Israel, who are physically being comfort right now in Israel's greatest time of need. So you can just check us out at icj.ca and see where your uh, comfort in regards to sowing right into the, the, the land of Israel, helping, again, Jews, uh, Arabs of the land, believers of the land, the soldiers on the front line, um, bomb shelters being installed where they need bomb shelters right now, uh, 
you know, uh, emergency medical equipment, scooters, uh, even emergency medical trucks, all these things, you have an opportunity to do so. Let's make a difference here in Canada, friends, as the body of Christ to pray, to stand and to comfort Israel in their time of need. Uh, so again, thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. Uh, and it's so key at this time that we make a difference. God bless.